And welcome to Family Simulator 22. How's everyone doing today? You probably heard me speak about this game on Skyrim. Yeah, a game that I can't stop playing. I've put like 74 hours into it. So I'm I'm still kind of a new newborn baby. That's just starting to walk. <laughs> That's starting to get a bit of familiar with my surroundings. But still needs a little bit of help every now and then. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave description. If you're not following the social media description, it's always pure. So, this was my father's land, apparently, that he lost it in um, a bet with uh, Shanelia, or uh, sh uh, sh Shilla, sh 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 <laughs> McFarlane, uh, it's my, no, sh <laughs> McFarlane, sh McFarlane, so, <laughs> Sheila, 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 <laughs> yes. But she allowed me to keep my home here. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's got everything you need. You need a bed. Got a meal that's just hovering off the floor, which is amazing. I got a boiler that just keeps me warm. It's amazing. I got. A, I don't even. Don't even. I don't even need to have an oven. Don't even need an oven. Don't even need wheels either. No. Who needs wheels? I have. Okay, I have the two front ones. That's about it. But who needs rear wheels? I don't need rear wheels. Do you need rear wheels? This is amazing. But anyway. Okay, so this wouldn't have been able to be possible without a mod, unfortunately. And so the whole premise to this is like... So yes, I've only put 74 hours into this. And I've decided to do... You know what? Let's go on the hardest difficulty. Uh, you start off with a loan uh, that you have to pay back. Now, that would be in tense that's okay if the money that you have that you've taken out you would spend on land and, and equipment to pay off the loan but to start off with no equipment and no money whatsoever right so <laughs> you start off with like i said with the loan but i went into the xlm blah, 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 file the x the xml yeah the xml file and just Reset everything. Just clear everything. So I am on the hardest difficulty, but there's no loans. So when you go to the main settings, you start a new game. You got easy. You, uh, easy. You start off with a, 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 a few properties, all of the equipment that you need. Uh, then you've got normal, which you start. Uh, you don't. Uh, you start off from scratch, but you, you don't have any loans. But you got one and a half million. So you got one million, one and a half million pounds to buy land and buy equipment so you can pretty much do it yourself then you got hard which you you have money but it's what you've you've loaned out but you need that money because you need that money to to buy stuff now with this game like if i press shift and p i get to come into this now this is actually I can go to landscape. I can pretty much uh, do the terrain of my property. Obviously, this is not my property, but it will be eventually, because she was kindly enough to allow me to buy it back off her, which is really nice. It's this one right down here. It's the cheapest one. Here. No, it's not. It's this one. Yeah, the cheapest one. <laughs> Forty-nine thousand one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty-two pounds. So once I own this land, I can do some terraforming. But there is a mod. Which I think actually... Do, no, 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 I don't have that installed. I had to download a mod in order to make this possible. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to put this on this land. For an example, if I was to buy this land now, and then try to sell the land now, it wouldn't let me because of this. But the mod allows me to put this down now, so I actually got somewhere to sleep. Not like sleeping matters in this game. It kind of does. It kind of helps you skip the months quicker. Um, so that's all that matters. Um... So, let me give you a bit of a quick rundown. So, right here, you've got all of the things you need. Uh, basically, each one here, if I zoom out like this, you can basically tell which one is wheat. Because when I click it, it removes it. That's what, that's what wheat is. The same for barley, canola, oats, corn, uh, sunflowers, soya beans, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, cotton, sorghum, grapes, olives, and poplar. So, that's basically that's what's, what's been growing in all of these. And then you've got uh, crop type, which is obviously all the different types of crops. Obviously, what's going on. Then you basically got all the growth. So I'm assuming I think the dark green is when it's almost uh, ready to be harvested. Uh, so you can tell all the different shades of green. And then you, purple is obviously what is harvested, um, which is mostly, mostly everything really. 
yeah then you've got remove foliage that's only really i found that with potatoes growing potatoes then you've got cultivated which is the one of the stages of um uh, when you're basically needing to sow the bed basically plant flowers and stuff uh, plant flowers <laughs> seeds <laughs> crops that's the one <laughs> then you've got this um then you got the stones. So most of them are just small stones. Small stones and I believe medium stones you can push back down with a roller. The red ones, though, you need to collect them. You can't push them back down. So you need a stone uh, gatherer, collector for that. And then you got the mulched, which is kind of like a, a type of fertilized. Um, yeah, then you've got light blue and dark blue. Light blue is obviously the first stage. And then uh, dark blue is when you fertilize it the second time. You should get 100% on that. Obviously, it needs plowing. Yeah, as you can see, some of them already are blue underneath because they're already fertilized. My guess is that either these are dead, like they're like the the owners have just let them to rot and what have you, which is never good. Uh, got workers. Uh, I could I could uh, have a worker take my vehicle from one point to another point, or can ask them to even do the work for me, which no, I don't want to do that. Obviously, being on hard, all the settings are turned on. So, so obviously, the, the name of the, the the save is no no money run. Obviously, I've got no money. This is real time. Um, even though you think I'm in like the menu, the game's still going. So if I have to speed this up, I think it goes up to 100 and 160 times. Wait, I, I could have just done the other way, couldn't I? Uh, I could have just done, yeah, oh, no. Yeah, uh, 360, you can go up to 360, or I can do half of the time. Obviously, obviously that thing on hard, uh, hard, so basically efficiency, buying and selling prices, yeah, the revenue contracts are based on this factor. Um... That's actually not bad though, because I've looked at some of the contracts, and the contracts still look pretty decent considering it's on hard. So just the the revenue of contracts. So that's that's kind of interesting actually. I mean, the cool thing about this is that you can actually change uh, it on the fly. So I don't have to keep it on hard, even though it is. That's kind of interesting. So this is contract. So that's six thousand three hundred and three. Would that change if I was to do? This would, would, would that automatically change seven thousand five hundred sixty-three? Okay, so yeah, you um, so you can, you can do that, but it it kind of beats the purpose. Traffic's on, even though I don't, there's not that much traffic. I would have liked it if there was a lot more traffic. There might, might be another mod for it. Now I do have mods installed because a lot of the equipment in this is fucking damn expensive, and that's just even on normal or easy. The the, the equipment in this is quite expensive so there are some cool mods that i've got that i'm going to be can't wait to show you later on of, of, of vehicles and old old stuff old equipment and stuff obviously i've got it in 28 days because i'm mostly going to be grinding my ass off working um so if i had it to set it to one uh every time i go to sleep it will be the next month um and it won't change until the next month so it won't class as one day until it's next month um, but 28 days, so I'll, I have to sleep 28 days, and then it will be the next month. Eventually, when I get to the point where I feel like I'm making enough money, um, and I need to get through to the, through the seasons, then I will lessen the days down. down. Most people keep it on about four or five, because it feels like a week then. Um, but then, okay, so you, this is obviously, so this is the calendar, the crop calendar. So you've basically got, obviously, so uh, you plant it in september and october but you harvest it in july and august so this is kind of the, so when, when it gets to the point where i'm going to be planting crops and fields and stuff or in fields and stuff that's when i will shorten the days just so we can get around the year quicker now down here um uh, oil season and radish and grass are the only ones um that you can pretty much once you plant it anywhere from between march in November you can harvest it all throughout I think the grass grows back every every two days or something like that so like grass is a good money maker but it's not a great money maker when it's on hard and to kind of see that is in here so if I was to come down here there's grass so as you can see it's 42 pounds but obviously that uh, if I if I was to lessen that to easy that would be a lot more than that but you can also turn that into silage and silage is yeah 155 uh, it's obviously gonna usually a lot more than that so there yeah, all these stats go up and down you can see the, the, the fluctuation 
of the, of the different types of parts of the month when when it's probably the best to sell. Um, but yeah, um, obviously I don't have any tractors yet. I don't have any animals yet. That's just obviously my um, everything from solid vehicles, new, uh, new livestock, animals, construction, build, uh, cast, uh, solid buildings, uh, land purchases, um, land sales, vehicle uh, rent, uh, uh, running costs, uh, lease, leasing property, maintenance property, income. Uh, blah blah blah. So pretty much just all of my regular spendings there. This is obviously my production. So there's a buildings around here that I can buy for like uh, bakeries and stuff like that. Um, so if I want to do that, I can probably even, I can e can even make my own petrol as well, which is cool. Uh, this is just obviously my statistics of like you know everything from like obviously workers at acres and cultivate acres blah blah blah. And you have got your settings and your and your control configuration down there. So pretty much yes. So eventually I will probably be buying Field 48 since it's the cheapest. So going back to the contracts, we basically I want to look at like um, some decent contracts that we have here. Again, I'm, try I'm trying to get through as much explaining as possible, I'm trying to be as quick as possible because some some of you are watching thinking I already know all this, but those who don't know this will want to know this. Um, so the, the right that's nine thousand. Okay, so that's plowing. Okay, right. Bailing, bailing's pretty good. It's a bit of a work, so you can lease these. I feel like these types of jobs, these ones, only give you a little bit of a dent. So basically, I won't get the full three six thousand three hundred and three. It will just be six minus eighty one. I've had jobs before and did it on one of my other playthroughs where I used the equipment from the biggest job, which was like 26,000 because I was playing on normal. Um, and I used that equipment along with one of my equipments, which was, was a wind rubber. Um, oh, no, it wasn't. It was a tether. It was a tether, yeah. Um, so basically, mow the grass in the field, then dry it yeah, with the tether, yeah. And, and bail it. So that this was basically the job. I actually think this might have been the job. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was filled 18, I think it was. But anyway. So I had this job, and then there was another job where I didn't have to dry it. And then that was like 7,000. And then I had another job, which was like 26,000. So basically what I'd done is I used the equipment from the, the 26,000 to mow all three fields. Hehehehe. <laughs> Then I, I went back, drove back to my place, got my tether because um, obviously the, the the big job I didn't have, didn't require me to use a tether. It just basically just told me to mow it and then uh, put it in silage, wrap it up basically. I uh, went back to got my tether, tethered that field, then got the uh, the baler, which is uh, that thing right there you just just came on screen, that big red. Uh, Trailer thing, <laughs> big red, yeah. <laughs> the big like red trailer dumpster looking thing, um, <laughs> and then I just basically drove that up there, bowed everything, uh, and then trailed, uh, used the trailer from the big job, took it there, and then simply then just wrapped all the other. Jobs. So basically, I used all the equipment from the big job to to help me do all the ones, and I saved so much money in the end, which was kind of nice. So, um, yeah. So obviously, the, the the goal, the plan is for me is to pretty much do the job. That's pretty much the plan, really. Uh, is to start a job. Obviously, so this is gonna knock me back. So nine thousand three hundred forty-eight minus one thousand forty-two. I could use this to help me do some other jobs. So instead of me having to like uh, lease out this as well, so I, you know, I basically I would be getting less than. Well, I'll get. I still get two thousand, about two thousand one hundred and something, and then the same for this one. So this one seems to be a big enough job. I mean, considering they both cost almost the same, I'm looking. I'm, I'm assuming that the jobs are pretty much the same size. So what I could, what I'm going to do? What's the one? That's one thousand. Yeah, because that that would definitely put me put underneath that. 
So what I could basically do, I could accept, I could borrow these items, right? So that's to do with this job. But then I can also use those items to do that job, <laughs> as well as that job. And I'm basically saving myself a thousand, one thousand and seven. You can't see my mouse, by the way. But, so yeah. So what it says like uh, the, for the reward re reduced to, to, for leasing those items, one thousand and seven. So I'd get less than six thousand, basically. And I believe you can only have three active. Yeah, you can only have three active. So basically, I'm going to use that job. Oh no, sorry, that job to do these two other jobs. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So, eventually I will own this land, and eventually I will own that land over there, number 49. When you own it, it'll, the, the numbers on the land will be blue. So, I will see your, you guys' asses over there. I mean, over... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I'll see you guys over there. Oh, actually, hold on. Doesn't matter. Forgot about that. Wait. Do I have it installed? I wonder if I have it installed. No, I don't. <laughs> it's a shame that some of these don't, don't come with auto GPS, but yeah. This is not going to necessarily be a role playing series. I know some people really like that. Uh, I mean, I, I could do maybe one day, but I just. I feel like the role playing can be a little bit silly sometimes. Especially when things don't go right. <laughs> yeah, especially when the, yeah, especially when things go wrong. Um Yeah. Like this one playthrough that I saw. So basically over here to chop these trees down, you need over one million pounds. Um, I was watching him thinking, oh, you know, because I didn't, um, I completely, I, was, I didn't know at the time. And in the role play that I, I, what video that I was watching, he came here and he was able to chop down trees thinking, oh, so there is a place that you can just go and just chop down trees. And then I, when, when I got the game myself, I'm like, you can, you brought it. You brought that. <laughs> you fucking, you brought that, didn't you? <laughs> Right, okay, so because you can, you can go into your XML file and you basically can literally alter things. You can go in there and if you want to, you could pretty much give yourself money if you want to. I've also just realised how fucking loud this is. This is. Why is that picture of a fucking tent on there? Yeah, you got that. Oh my god, you can have both of them at the same time. Oh, you can. Can if you do that, though. <laughs> yeah. And you got that one as well. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping up traffic. I'm keeping up traffic. <laughs> I think there is a mod that I can get that, like, because unfortunately, when I turn my wheel, when, when I turn it back normally in real life, the the indicator will just automatically flick 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 back, but it doesn't with this, and I've just I've I've just missed the area that I, I was meant to go. So, I'm not bad like in terms of keeping a straight line, but it depends on what I'm using. And if I've if I've never used the type of vehicle before, yeah, it's it's, yeah, and it doesn't help when you're by another person's land like this person, Evelyn Carson. Yeah, so even though I'm working on this one, I could accidentally ruin this one as well. If this wasn't hers, I don't, I don't think it actually affects it. So, I could accidentally drive over there. Now, obviously, this does have fuel destruction on. Um, yeah, I think this does have fuel destruction on. But I don't think it affects their land. I think it only affects yours. Now, there is a way around that. There is actually a way around that, and that's by buying th um, uh, thinner tyres. 
basically. You can buy Thanatides. The cool thing is, is basically both fields are right, right next door to each other. Are they? 25. Are they down there? Oh, they, oh he's over there. So 25 is over there. Where's the other one? 25 and 69. <laughs> There's 69. Nice. All right. So ideally what I do try to do is I'll try and keep in a... Um, I keep forgetting you have to... Wait, is that changed? I don't recall that doing that. The whole... Like, yeah, engine start, stop, go back. Yeah, give me that. I don't like that. The fact that I have to press it again to... Yeah. Trailer, full limit. Now keep that on. You would think that would add to the challenge, because... Now I have to... I have a limit, so the trailers can only be filled until the max allowing my... Yeah. Yeah. So that technically should be off. That should be on, but... And dirt... Yeah, dirt should always just be normal. Oh, here we go. I go work a few... Okay. So now I just... Yeah. yeah. That's nicer. That's nicer. So much nicer. I've also put my... Um, my... Um, circle... To like uh, to three hundred, you can only do that in the XML. So basically, that's, that's that's like the rendering distance of your field, pretty much. Right, where are we with this? Do I want this? I think it looks horrible. Like, give us at least put the option in settings, man, for the love of God, because it only goes to two hundred, and two hundred is like. Like, let me, if you just look at the top of my cab, 200 is about there. Like, where, see the, 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 that little white little cap, the, the white little light, uh, what, th is that even a light? What is that white thing? Whatever that white thing is. So, yeah, on 200, it's about there-ish. Or around right about there-ish, but now, uh, the line's about there. If I had it, if I put it to 400, it's gone. So, you, you, there's, there's no rendering circle whatsoever. And you just... Yeah, but it, that does kind of eat into my FPS, though. So, don't really want to be doing that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> now, if I was to press this button right here, why? I can make my own field if I want to, but I won't. Uh, did I have to unfold? No. That's fold. Oh, shit, my bad. I'm, um... <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Let's go. Right, let's try and keep this as centre as possible. I always like to go a little bit over, because at least I feel like I'm getting everything. So that little nip, that little thing on the, on the hood of the bonnet, it's kind of like the, 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 the centre. And that's always feel like why tractors always have them. Yeah. So the goal in this episode anyway is to basically to save up and make money, obviously, and eventually to buy the land. You're never going to get it completely sh I mean, you could. There's there's a mod GPS mod, but it's such a... I was looking into it and I'm like, nah. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad at driving in a straight line. It depends on... If I can find a good preference point to begin with, like this, for an example... Like, this is a straight line. If I, if I can try and find a, a, prefer, a preference point from, like, this, I should be able to make it a decent look straight across. Um, as long as I can try and keep it relatively straight. And you're always going to miss some fucking bits as well. So, yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised that Simon Miniminter isn't playing this because he loves games that are very satisfying. Very uh, loser games that's very satisfying. I love that. You can just turn it around like. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that. It's just something um, satisfying about it. 
Now, I basically put on cruise control. So, it, it, it's, it's basically um, driving itself. All I've got to do is, is keep, keep steering it. I could I could press the button. I, I could drive it myself. I could hold the button down and drive forwards myself. But it's... Um, yeah, imagine keeping you, your finger on the button for over 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean, the, I wonder I wonder if anyone's ever done a, a playthrough where it's staying in the cabin only. And I know there is a mod for that as well, where you can't exit the cabin, so it makes it as more realistic as possible. And then there is one where the camera looks as realistic inside the thing as well, but yeah. Anyway. I think I'm doing a decent job. I like to think I'm doing a decent job. What I probably will do in just a sec, I might just do like a speed montage because that is basically what a lot of people tend to do in these parts because otherwise no one's gonna wa no one's gonna wanna sit and watch you do this entire film. Look look at the size of it. <laughs> No one's going to sit and watch you do the whole thing. Because that's just... No. And if I do that, then I might just... Put the camera out. Uh, I, might, I might put the camera out. To that. But it's going to be a while yet. Before I, I get decent tractors and stuff myself. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a little bit wonky. But... Your tractor is basically driving down all those little divots that you've just ploughed out. So it's, it's not going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. You can get it perfect, like I said, with, with the GPS. But, yeah. So the only thing I can think of doing right now is just doing a little bit of speed montage with, a, with some YouTube copyrighted, uncopyrighted music. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I've realised I've done something as well. I might have to, um, once this feels done, I might have to just quickly go out and sort something. So, you can probably see the circle. So there's literally a circle that's completely around me. Yeah. I think I had just did something when the game was still running, and I should have done it when the game was closed down. So... The, the you got the draw distance like on how much the game renders in in terms of the crops and the maximum it goes to is 200 which annoys people because the circle is still like you remember when I was basically just telling you about the, the white little you know like where, where, where the white dot is I've just realized no it's literally like there <laughs> Like I said, I think the, I, I, I changed it when the game was running, and I should have closed it down when I changed it. So it, it technically, I've made it worse. So no. So you can literally see the circle. You can actually see where the crops are and where it's all like blurred out. Yeah, that's that's that. So I've kind of cocked up a little bit there. I'll get those last little bits in a bit. The only thing that annoys me as well with this is that. It's the same with Power Boss Simulator, which I haven't did any videos on it yet, which I'd love to. Um, and the problem with it is that it, you you finish it before you even finish it, so you actually you actually complete the field, and you haven't even finished it yet. It's like, and then you, you kind of want to go around and finish it off because it looks horrible. <laughs> right, anyway, we're just back to the, yeah.
I'd like to do a good job. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Hello, an hour and 33 minutes of recording. <laughs> yeah, so, you don't have to be put through this. So, what I'm going to probably do, uh, like I said, I already did it, already finished it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to address that. Well, I still remember. I think the one that I've got, uh, the one that's changed, is the one that's around me. I've noticed that uh, the circle is where I put it. I think there's something else that's changed instead. So I'm gonna. I need to look into that because it's not aesthetically pleasing for me to look at when I'm looking around and like it's just not all rendering in properly. It looks horrible. It's really horrible. You can see it renders in the background, and that's the circle that I, I did. But it's done something else instead, and I don't know what. Yeah, when when you do a job, you kind of want to do a good job. You don't want to leave patches and stuff like that because. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make you look professional. I don't like to be. I look. I like to think that I'm professional. <laughs> Probably not. <but laughs> well, I just went over that. I literally just drove over that. Son of a bitch. Right, come here. No, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh really? Are you serious? Come on now. Got one little thing there just teasing me. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, let me just go down there and come back up because that one's just... That will bug the fuck out of me. That will really bug the fuck out of me. I don't know how people can get away with that. Nicely lines and all. So there's a scratch. That's like it's been scratched the surface. <sighs> okay. So that's one field done. Like I said, I think the other one is over the other side. Uh, it's miles away, isn't it? Not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! So where is the other one then? So we're here, thirty-three. Um, so we have a 69, which I think, I know we have a 25, yeah, okay, I think that's not as wide, but it's definitely longer, and then the 69, <laughs> 69, um, I think that's definitely the biggest one, yeah, oh no it's not, 68 is. Um, yeah, 69 looks smaller because it's more narrower. Yeah, all right. Okay, I think the circle that's around me, I think that's meant to be a thing. But yeah, I've definitely increased the circle at the back. All right. Mm, let's get going. What am I doing? <laughs> no idea. Uh, wait, has my tractor changed color? I think it has, you know. I think it's changed colour. I've had to obviously quit out of the game and play with the, the XL files. So, I think my tractor's changed colour. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's funny. Jesus. I think I can put it to full, but it, like I said, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a performance hit, unfortunately.
<laughs> You've got a little horn. A little horn. I might just do the two fields today. I don't know. It's just already an hour and 48 minutes long. Yeah. Don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, uh, the, uh, this, you didn't see anything. It's um, perfectly normal to take take the wrong route. <laughs> see, not enough traffic in my opinion. I just don't think. This is where damn roads in America. Just. <laughs> oh, wait, we're here. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> It's fine. We've got this. It's fine. No need to panic. No need to panic. There we go. See, everything was under control. <laughs> hmm. The laws of physics be damned. <laughs> oh no, there's no real fucking thing to this, is there? Ah, shit. Yeah, the, the, there's no real thing to it. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's just um, go with it and just go with the best. Just, just yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Sure. That, that yeah. Seems perfectly fine. For some reason, I can only rotate it when it, when it was selected on my weight at the front and the tractor. For some reason, the option just wasn't there for the plow. That was weird. Worried about something. Ooh, that contract's no longer active. Okay, so it's seventy eight percent done. Okay. So that says I've just not been seeing it appearing in the top right hand corner. Alright, back to the montage.
Be mindful. <laughs> Been at this for three hours. Well, two hours and 40 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, what do you do that for? What the hell do you do? Fucking idiot. This might be the first time I have to, I have to get petrol. I might actually have to get petrol. Shit. <laughs> From there. Yes. Coming up to three and a half hours. Yep. Alright. I need to make sure that I am going to select the right job. Um, because it's a shame that that doesn't turn more. So it, it rides on the wheel. I have no option for that. <laughs> I literally have no option for that. So, yeah. Unless there's a setting that I don't know about, let me know. But yeah. Being this on hard, I've got, um, like obviously, fuel consumption on high. So, normally, I would have enough fuel to do all three jobs. But, with it being on high, yeah. I'm not going to, like, fill the whole tank up. I'm probably going to give it half a tank, because I don't think that's enough to do the other field. Not saying that the other field is bigger. I think, if anything, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's hard to say. Um, yeah, damn it, I missed a few bits over there. It's whatever. Um, it's, it's, it's done at the end of the day. He's happy with it. Um, yeah, so I don't, it might be about roughly the same length. It might be less because it narrows off at the end. So obviously I think it'll get easier as I go down. Like, say if I do the long side first, and gradually it'll get easy and easier and easier. Well, I've been recording for like three and a half hours. Um, so I probably will just, I've, obviously I don't have any money. So I'm gonna look at the contracts because I know that I put I picked this one from being the, the most expensive, uh, which was this one. This is the one that I, I borrowed it from. So these two, I could actually cash in right now. Boom, 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 and I should still have yeah. So I've got fifteen thousand six hundred ninety-two. Come on. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a top up. I'm not gonna like go nuts with it. If I have, 
I'm probably just going to give it half a tank. So 114 pounds, that's fine. I think for what I've just done, I've just saved myself some pennies there. So like 114. I probably, I've still made money for doing those two jobs without leasing. I would definitely would say that I've, 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 I've benefited from that. So me just basically fueling this up just a smidgen, just, to, just enough to get this job done. Because once I do this job and I accept it, all this will go back. I, it's out of my hands. So, and this one is like the most I'm getting out of the job. So thanks for me leasing it off him. I've just I was able to do two jobs out of it, um, which is a bit snidey. What I should have done is I should have looked at the plows. I should have looked at the plows and see which, seen which one was bigger. Because I think the bigger, the, yeah, the bigger the plow, the, the more wider the plow, the better. Uh, I would have done quicker. I would have done the job. So there is that. So I'm going to be taking this down to the actual job that I was meant to have done it with. <laughs> I'm going to be taking it down there and I'm just going to end off there. And then I'll, um, the next episode, I'll finish that job off and I'll hopefully get myself a, a new uh, transport, means of transport. Obviously, the money, you know, I, I obviously want it, um, to save up for the field so I'm going to try to buy uh, what I need and um, I have one idea of what type of vehicle that I want to get just just to kind of get me about a little bit just, to, just so I could like back and forth I've just kind of just kind of give you a clue there <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> it's a bicycle <laughs> it's a bicycle it's only 400 quid so it's only 400 pounds but it's cheaper than a car, and um, I mean, looking at the, I mean, looking at the field, looking, looking at it, it's not, it's, oh Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> well, I mean, thank God it's a tractor. <laughs> well, you know, just doing a cross bit of cross country course. <laughs> I, I might be able to cross it. Here we go. I mean, looking at it, I mean, it's... Wait, is that a collectible? I will, I will be collecting collectibles, by the way. No. So, any collectibles, I will be collecting them. Hello? What are you? Never mind. Look, it's all fucking lost all the paint already. Nuts. So... <laughs> Oh, there's a bridge here. Ah, nice. Where were you? Fucking five minutes ago, bitch. But, um, yeah, I mean, looking at this. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think what that is, I think that's like a, a field of view that I need to look into. I don't know. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I'll be Monkey Bug Gamer. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Where the fuck is my save point? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Links complete. If you want to miss your immediate discontent, I'll try to spew until they go to the secrets in the next episode. Then take care. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>